This video shows you how easy it is to create a Pixis mobile application from scratch. It takes only a few minutes, so let's get started. First, we need to log into Application Studio. I'm using a saved connection here. Once I've logged in, I'll click Create New Application, and Application Studio will build out the basic properties of our new app. I'm going to open a mobile device that's tied to Application Studio. As you can see, applications from Pixis Mobile look just like any other mobile app you may have on your smartphone. As Application Studio opens, we land on the Application Properties page. Here, we can quickly name our application. For the purpose of this demo, let's call it App From Scratch. We can also give our application some images. I have some standard logos that we can use as our application icon as well as others to use on the login and dashboard screens. And we've got a corporate banner to appear on the top of all screens. As you can see, we have a variety of options that we can customize to make our application appear just the way we want. Okay, let's bring up our devices open our application, and see what we've got. To log in, we simply type in our username and click Login. Notice the splash screen that appears as the application loads. This is a great place to showcase your company logo and some cool graphics. Now that the app is loaded, we can see the images we selected, but we don't have any exciting menus yet. It's also important to notice that we have three devices shown here, iPhone, Blackberry, and Android. As you'll see, one app built on Pixis Mobile's platform runs on all three devices. And just in case you're wondering, yes, our apps also run on iPad and Android tablets. Now let's get some data into this application, and then we'll create some screens and some menus. You can connect to any of your internal and even external data sources using the Data Source Manager. We're going to connect to Salesforce with one of our standard plugins. That will allow us to pull any of the information that exists in our salesforce.com system into our application. After we name the connection, we select Pixis Mobile Salesforce plugin. Then we enter our Salesforce credentials, test the connection, and we're ready to go. Just like that, our entire salesforce.com system is now available for use in the application we're about to build. Now we'll begin to work with the data I just connected to by moving to the Entities screen. Looking over here in the Data Sources toolbox, we can see all of the tables and fields that exist in our Salesforce system. We can easily add some data to our application by dragging and dropping items into the Entity Navigator. So let's bring in some account data as well as some contact information from Salesforce. You can see how easy it is to add additional data, just drag and drop. Application Studio does all the heavy lifting by automatically mapping all of your data fields, so you'll instantly be able to pick and choose the information you want to incorporate into the app. Creating screens to represent these entities is as easy as selecting the entity and clicking Create Screens. We'll do this for our contacts and move to our screen workflow to view them. From here, we can easily access the screen layout by double-clicking a screen icon. Since we used the auto-create feature to build these screens, all of the data fields available are automatically inserted into the screen. Let's recap what we've done so far. We created an application, connected to a data source, imported and mapped a couple data tables, and created a series of screens for contacts, all in less than five minutes. Now let's show you how we can integrate another data source into this application. We've got some SQL tables that we can connect to in-house. So to do so, we'll go through the exact same steps as we did to connect to Salesforce. First, we name the connection, then we select the SQL plugin, which is another standard plugin available with our platform. Now we enter the location of the server and the database that we're connecting to, as well as our credentials. 
We test the connection to ensure that we're in, and just like before, all the data tables are available for me to drag and drop into my application. Moving back to our Entities page, I'm going to grab a data table and, just like before, drag and drop it onto the page. After adding these two data sources, I'll right-click on them and create screens for both. Moving back to our screen workflows, we can see that lists, summaries, and find screens have been automatically generated. So in almost no time at all, we've added a second data source and we can integrate that data on a field-by-field -field basis into our app. Now we'll take a look at our contact summary screen to get a look at a different type of screen layout. Bringing up our devices, we should be able to click on contacts to view a list of records. And there they are. Now, because we automatically created these screens, there are a lot of data fields in here that I don't necessarily want, and the columns aren't in the order I'd like. Well, Application Studio gives us total control over the screen layout, format, and presentation. So let's go back to this screen and clean it up a little bit. We can easily rearrange the way the data appears. We'll hide some of the information that we don't want, and we'll rearrange how we want it to look. And just like that, we've changed our app. Those changes go into effect immediately. There's no code recompilation, and there's zero redeployment. Let's bring up our mobile devices to show you. All we have to do is refresh our configuration, and the application automatically updates itself with the changes we just made. The first and last name columns have hidden, and the full name is now listed first, exactly like we wanted. That's the power of Pixis Mobile. Easy to change, instantly available. Let's go back and make a few more changes to our application. When we auto-generated screens, Application Studio created a list screen, a form screen, and a find screen. The list screen displays data columns across the screen and lists all of the table's records in a list. When the user clicks on a record, they will automatically navigate to a form screen, which shows all the data associated with that individual record. So when we auto-generate screens, Application Studio not only puts data fields into a display, it also grabs your primary key and creates drill-down functionality into individual records. It takes care of the navigation to that screen and even creates menu items for smartphones that are menu-driven, like the BlackBerry or Android. Not only that, but if you have a phone number, email address, or physical address listed, Application Studio will automatically recognize it and create click-to functionality, so your users can tap or click on that item to call, email, or map it. So let's see how we're looking on our simulators. Here we can drill into a contact and see the summary data. Let's also scroll down to a phone number and click to dial that contact. If we had more time, we could set up all kinds of cool functionality here, like tilting the device to change the layout, grabbing directions using the GPS, and even using multi-pin mapping to show all the contacts or accounts that are in the area on a single map. Pixis Mobile even supports video capability. So let's take inventory of what we've done here. We've built a simple mobile application that runs on BlackBerry, Android, and iPhone devices. It contains client and account information that's being pulled live from a Salesforce account, as well as SQL data that's stored locally. We've customized screens and data fields, built in drill down capability and screen navigation, and even added click to dial, email, and mapping for easy use. And if you remember back to the beginning of this video, we've even customized the application icon, banner images, and splash screen. You might be wondering just how far you can go with Pixis Mobile's platform. To give you an idea, here are a few examples of some applications we've recently built. Here's a CRM sales application that pulls in employee photos, displays click to icons, and utilizes location-based services for things like multi-pin mapping.
Here's a Netflix queue manager that allows you to scroll through DVDs in a cover flow type format and rate movies with a graphics based star rating system. And here's an application that pulls weather feeds based on your GPS location and displays them in a picture format. It also integrates video feeds right into the same screen. Now you may understand why we say that Pixis Mobile is the most flexible and powerful mobile development platform available. Rapid development and deployment with no coding and no code generation. Unlimited data integration, unmatched security, and full customization. That's why Pixis Mobile is the only platform for serious enterprise-grade mobility.